Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek TV at Gen Con 2015. I'm continuing to sit with Chris Leslick <laughs> of Asmati Games. I want all games. <laughs> and you've brought us some of the uh, new and upcoming stuff for innovations. Yes. Uh, so we are working on Innovation Deluxe, which is a reskinning of innovation with some upgraded art and assets. We had a few erotic cars, things that were overpowered or underpowered. Uh, especially with Echoes, where we did that rule change, we're going to be updating that. Nice. Uh, and so what I've got to show is the base set of innovation here. Uh, you can see that these cards are a little bit shinier than the old versions. <laughs> uh, and there is a lattice work between the icons, which we created, that when you splay the cards, you're going to see a lovely patterned effect on, uh, on the icons. And it will work for any of the directions of the display. Oh, nice. So uh, we have kept the same simple approach to the game. Uh, we didn't really want to go super flashy with the art because I don't think that's what the game wants. Uh, but this is a much more colorful and uh, easy to present appearance. Uh, in addition, we have updated the color blindness uh, system, which is now on the age number of the cards. So purple's got a little stop sign, diamond, starburst, circles, and squares. The, uh, the last graphical thing we did, which I forgot to take a card out for, <laughs> is uh, I'm just going to knock all the cards over because I'm amazing. <laughs> <Card> oh. <chaos. laughs> demand effects now have a darkened box. So I can see that you've got a demand effect across the table. And I can also tell the difference between the demand effect and the non-demand effect on a card. Which is nice from a Which distance. Which is nice, yes. Uh, well, a lot of people got confused in innovation in the past when construction is I demand something and the second half of it is a normal effect. This makes it much more graphically evident what's going on. Now, in preparing for this deluxe edition, are you still going to keep Echoes <laughs> as a expansion, or will Echoes be bundled so, in with this deluxe yeah, edition? Yeah, we're doing. We're going to make one big box out of everything, uh, where you can get all the expansions, including the two upcoming ones. And people are yelling, and it's exciting. It is. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we're also going to release it as a standalone, just the game box. Uh, this should also come with a reduced price because we're doing new things with it, uh, and it'll be a smaller box for the base set. Um, in addition, we will release uh, all of the expansions and the original set in their original art forms uh, as a print-on-demand game through drive through Carts or something like that. Uh, so that if somebody wants to keep the original set but wants the fourth expansion, we don't want to force you to buy the new art and all the things you already bought because that's lame. <laughs> <laughs> so no complaining about it now. <laughs> you guys have obviously thought about it. <laughs> yeah, it'll cost about $300, but oh. <laughs> so when, anyways, yeah. When do you anticipate the Deluxe Edition being ready? Um, we are hoping to put the Deluxe Edition on Kickstarter sometime this spring. This, yeah, spring. <laughs> it's in the past. Uh, sometime this year we'd like to do it. Okay. All right. Well, Chris, thank you for giving us a sneak mm -hmm. peek of what to expect up and coming with uh, innovation. Awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs>